And now, Wharton MBAs assemble a mom bed from Ikea. 20 years of school, two degrees, five years of work experience. I was literally born to build Ikea furniture. Okay, well, hold on. Let's come up with a plan first. Yeah, yeah, I got some really exciting ideas to optimize this process. We could specialize our rules. We could merge with other bed makers. We could outsource to Mexico. We could refinance. We could LBO. Calm we could... down, Spaz. This is essentially the same thing as our Gillette case. We just need to make sure we stick to our core competencies and that our cogs are less than our WTP. Let's model. Guys, I've got it. If we pay out early investors with contributions from later investors, we'll essentially just make infinite profit. Like a Ponzi scheme. Whoa, 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 whoa. More like a pyramid strategy. The numbers don't lie, Chaz. You're the bottleneck. I'm not the bottleneck. You're the fucking bottleneck. Maybe if you knew how to crank a fucking Allen wrench, you wouldn't be. Yeah, I guess they didn't teach shop at Deerfield. It's fucking Phillips Academy. I think we're done. Oh, hells yeah! 27% cost savings, 30 million in increased revenue, 25% ROI? We fucking crushed this bed assembly! Well, hey, guys, what about company culture? Shut, Shut up, Steve! Steve. Um, let's get here. Nailed it! And now, Stanford MBAs assemble a mom bed from IKEA. Whoa, 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 what are you doing, man? You wanna assemble this bed? Or you wanna hack out some dope shit? Fuck yeah, bed 2.0. Wait, guys, you know, if we only use two of these wooden pokey things instead of three, we can reduce Brazilian deforestation by like 50%. I have got a sick contact for my vegan co-op. And he says that we can replace all the pokey things with used corn husks. Oh, sick. Right on. Right on. Time to hit the D school and mock this shit up. Let's just call it beta. Yeah, my acupuncture says I should sleep on banana leaves anyway. And now, Kellogg MBAs assemble a long bed from Ikea. Guys. We can do this one. Yeah, this is totally our chance to prove that Wharton, Harvard, and Stanford all made a huge mistake yeah. when they dinged us. And Booth. And Talk. And Columbia, and Sloan, and Cornell whoa, Undergrad. Whoa, 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 cool at 640. Guys, before we do anything, what's our golden rule? Get inside, inside the head of the customer. Let's brand this bad boy. I love my new Bedmaster 9000 by Nike. It's so much better name than mom. And I want to love on you in our new Bedmaster 9000. Ba -da -ba -ba -bum. I'm loving it. Oh, great analytics, guys. Hey, it says here we need a conjoint analysis. Hmm, what is that? I think we might need more construction paper. Yeah, we might. And now, Harvard MBAs assemble a mom bed from Ikea. What do they want us to do with this, exactly? Kennedy Vanderschmidt, HBS 07, called her team to action as she surveyed the challenges that lay ahead. The faint smell of Swedish meatballs and value-conscious consumers lingered in the air. Well, I should obviously be CEO. I once read a case about Home Depot, and I'm pretty sure that my Mexican maid has been to Ikea before. She's poor. <laughs> Parent Gottfried had never been second in anything in his life. As he looked at the crisp beige box in front of him, he reflected. Exeter, Harvard, McKinsey, Blackstone. Harvard again. Now CEO of bed making. Yes, this would make the perfect flourish to an immaculate list of brands. Who made you CEO? I'm way more qualified. As they pondered who would be CEO, Kennedy brought Chaz a coffee. I'm not bringing you a coffee, Chaz. Damn. So after 10 rounds of CEO voting, we're still all tied with one vote apiece. Perrin and his four teammates pondered. Should they all be CEO? Should they outsource the labor to MIT? Exhibit 4. Or should they dump this piece of shit bed and buy a real one from West Elm? Questions remained and time was running out. And now, Chicago Booth MBAs assemble a mom bed from Ikea. How the hell are we supposed to do this, you guys? I agree. It's hopeless. 
All these overly quantitative classes, the miserable Chicago weather, I just can't take it anymore! I'm really gonna do it this time! Guys, we found another one! And now, INSEAD MBAs assemble a Malm bed from IKEA. This new Malm model is like, uh, no, it just, no. Yeah, it's like the best of birds dresser had sex with a lock bookshelf. <laughs> from Marseille. <laughs> <laughs> but not gay, we just like to touch each other. Yeah, we, <laughs> we like to number one school, we love to party, smoke cigarettes. Hey, you guys, I think the day to find out what that week is oversight. You know what that means? Trans party! <laughs>